You do want to be careful. You do want to check with your doctor about fasting and make sure your doctor actually understands fasting before they give you all their advice. Hey, today we're talking about how to reset your erections. Mm, it's a good one, it's a good one. If you've been making changes that we've been talking about in terms of your energy, what you're eating, you're sleeping, you're exercising and taking care of your stress and you still have some issues because I've got some guys who talk about this, then let's talk about one potent thing that should be in your arsenal and that is fasting. Not intermittent fasting, but prolonged fasting. And today what I'm going to do is tell you how to do it the easy way. And hey, my name is Brian, AKA Uncle B. And for the last 21 years, I've been the men's performance coach with African Fly, the liquid aphrodisiac. And today we're going to talk about the benefits of fasting, how long you should take and how you can prepare yourself for it and what you should do when you're coming out so you can get the most out of it. And as always, and at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every Thursday I go live and this time I'm gonna be talking about this. There's a lot of questions that are gonna come out of this fasting protocol, but it's good questions. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you can get some more of this information and what I'm gonna do is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. Now let's go ahead and talk about fasting. Now we've talked a lot about intermittent fasting and that's basically where you have a cycle of when you eat and when you don't eat, basically 16 hours of not eating and eight hours of an eating window. Now fasting is extending this past that 16 hour window going into 24 to 48 to 72 hours or even longer. Now, there are a huge number of benefits to fasting, and we'll talk about that in a second, but you need to make sure you're going into it correctly and coming out of it correctly. When most people think about fasting, they're thinking like, oh, I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna lose muscle, my brain is gonna get all foggy. But hold up, that doesn't even make sense. Your body is already pre-programmed by your ancestors to know how to function without eating. Now, when you're not eating, you get massive improvements to your body fast, because your body needs it. So let's think about it this way. When you don't eat, your brain needs to work harder. It needs to remember the last place you went to get food and the, if food isn't there, it needs to go to the next place where you can get more food. So it needs to create more connections. So you get more brain connections and better memory. And of course, if you're not eating, then you need to get stronger in order to go lift, kill, hunt, anything you need to do to get more food. And of course, you would need more energy so you can do all of these different activities. So this is the way it works. When it comes to the fuel that's in your body, when you're fasting, of course the fasting is gonna start looking at the dead and old cells in your body and start using that as fuel. It's called autophagy. So let's talk really quick about all these benefits that come along with fasting and of course there's the weight loss. Weight loss does happen while you're fasting. You're not putting more food in and your body's using the energy that's already there, hence losing weight. When you're fasting, insulin resistance goes down so your body's able to take on what it's supposed to be able to take on when it comes to time for you to refuel. Inflammation goes down and a lot of times inflammation is what's driving all of the chronic diseases, diabetes, heart disease, et cetera, et cetera. And when it comes to heart health, we're always talking about that LDL when it comes to the cholesterol and fasting help clears that out. We have a whole bunch of animal studies that shows that when you're fasting, you reduce the amount of cancer cells in your body and it helps with brain health. Like I said before, you have to think better in order for you to go and get more food. We're pre-programmed for all this stuff. And when it comes to intermittent fasting and extending the lifespan of rats, they've done studies and it showed that rats have lived 36 to 83% longer. How cool is that? And of course, what does all of this add up to? Yeah, stronger erections, longer lasting erections, erections you can control. And what is one of the most important things when it comes to stronger erections, we're talking about testosterone production and fasting, of course, helps with testosterone production. In fact, you actually enhance your human growth hormone by 2000% with just a 24 hour fast. The more sensitive you are to insulin, which will happen when you're fasting, the better it is for your testosterone production. And of course that weight loss that comes along with fasting is very important for my guys who have that extra weight because that extra weight is preventing you from getting more testosterone in your system. 
Now, let's talk about going into a fast because that's very important. A lot of times people are like, I'm just going to eat whatever I want so I can stuff myself. And then you go into the fast and it feels horrible. And typically that's because of carbs. You want to stay away from carbs a good three to five days out. And for your last meal, now this may sound counterintuitive to a lot of guys, but you actually want to eat plants. You want to get a good salad in. And all this is so that when your body is going back and first starts looking for more fuel, it's not going back to some cookies, it's going back to something that's healthy, which will make it much easier for you while you're fasting. You won't get as hungry as much. Now, during the fast, of course, you can drink black coffee. No sugar, no cream. And we have to talk about tea. When you're drinking the tea that's good for you, you have to drink it unsweetened and you don't want to get the kind that has the fruit in there, the apple flavor, the orange flavor, because that has sweeteners in it. When it comes to the exercise, you want to do low intensity exercises, weightlifting, uh, also just walking. You can do some cardio, but make sure it's not too strenuous. The other thing, of course, is to not just sit around. In order to get the full benefits of fasting, you need to be active. Now let's talk about that first 24 hours. Now you may feel just a little fatigued. You may feel a little out of sorts, and that's because you're used to eating all the time. Let's face it. We're all junkies for eating. It's like an addiction. It's like as soon as you stop, it's like, what's going on? But when you go into day two, things get much better. And for a lot of people by day three, it's an amazing feeling. Everything is working better. You feel more energy. You're thinking clearer. All of those wonderful benefits of actually fasting. So let's talk about the easier fasting protocol that you should be using. Now, most fasts, are usually recommended for 24 to 48. That's when you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. Some people even go up to 72 hours. Of course you can go as long as you want to, you know, but you really need to study it before you do something like that. What I recommend is the 36 hour fast. And the reason why is because you actually get to sleep through most of the fast. That means basically your last meal is at 7 p.m. So you have that 7 p.m. meal, then you go to sleep. You wake up the next day and that day is when you're actually fasting. You're not eating anything at all. You're getting your tea, your black coffee, etc. in. And then the next morning you eat at 7 a.m. So what happened during that time? Roughly between 14 to 16 hours, you were asleep. So you have more time to relax. You don't have to worry about it as much. Now here's some other things that will help you out when you're going through your fast. The first thing being, figure some other things out to do. <laughs> You want to uh, plan to make sure that you're sort of busy so you don't have to think about eating. Now, of course, if you have some medical conditions, then you do want to be careful. You do want to check with your doctor about fasting and make sure your doctor actually understands fasting before they give you all the advice. Now, for my guys who are very slim, if you have very little fat to burn, you do not need to go on a prolonged fast. It just makes sense. Just This is supposed to help, not hurt. Now, when you come out of your fast, you actually want to break your fast with a light meal and you want to be very careful about what you're eating. You try, want to really try to eat just one thing. And the reason why is because when you fast, you're actually letting your body get rid of all the crap that's in there. And then when you introduce some more crap your body isn't used to or it shouldn't have at all, it's not going to feel good. I once fasted and came back with some good old Chinese food from the fast food takeout. I believe the word was Mah! Another thing you wanna do is make sure during your fast that you're brushing your teeth with water and you're not using mouthwash. Both of these tend to have a lot of sugar in it and it's gonna mess up your fasting. It's gonna break your fast. So confession time, fellas, a deep question. Would you rather miss a day of eating or miss having reliable erections? Let me know in the comment section below and make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And yes, indeed, I will be going live Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to answer these questions. And this is Uncle B saying, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.